on the line we've got Cameron Miller. Cameron, are you there? Yes, I am. Fred. An amazing song, Cameron. Nearly 12 months ago that we lost Sean. Yes, it is. It is, yes. How are you feeling 12 months on? Um, well, it's taken me a while to accept it, um, even though Sean prepared me as much as he could. Tell, tell us, uh, what, for all of us here in Perth that may have not known Sean's story entirely, tell us about Sean. How did he, what was he suffering from? Um, well, Sean had uh, two, two heart transplants, the first one when he was eight and the second one when he was 13. And, he, and as he says in his YouTube video, he's got uh, chronic heart disease and basically what that means in layman's terms, we, you know, in our arteries, they, they, get, they get blocked. Mm -hmm. um, and it, for, it, for it to happen a second time to him, you know, he was just devastated by it beyond means. But... But he was also courageous too, as well, because he had to look death square in the eyes, and not many kids have to do that like that, you know. You must have been a very proud parent. You're still a proud parent, I would say. I am. I am. He he got to do a lot before he passed away. He went on the football show, and you know, Dean I saw Cox him on Neighbours as well. He was well, on, on Neighbours as well. well. Yeah, and um, people wouldn't know, but he was very sick on like the day he did the Neighbours thing. He was very, very sick and, and uh, you know, I just said to Sean, do you want to stop this all now? And he said, no, I, I can't let people down. What, what do you think drove Sean to fight so hard? Um, I just, it just, he said, like, he was very, he was very an old soul. Um, and for him to write, he wrote a book also before he passed away as well. Um, he just, he just basically wanted people to, to live life to the fullest. Um, you know, because you never know what's going to happen, and, and that's what drove him every day. You know, he he lived life to the fullest. He was a, an idol to a lot of people, to, with people with illness, with heart problems. I think he was one of the people involved with the Heart Foundation, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Like um, he became an ambassador, heart ambassador at um, to Heart Kids at thirteen, and you know, thirteen to become an ambassador. Not many thirteen-year-old kids. Uh, an ambassador of a you know place, so he was he was well spoken, um, you know, and he just took it all in his stride. And I also saw some footage of him on on the net on uh, YouTube of himself yep. with his girlfriend. He was very proud that he actually he saw that as one of his achievements, a great achievement to have had a girlfriend. Yes, that was one he struck struck off. You know, I mean, uh, you know, he'd known he'd known her since uh, hard camp, so he. Look, with Sean, he was just, he loved, he loved his family and, you know, and I don't know if you've read, had a chance to read his book. He went through some family struggles as well and, um, and he always had a smile on his face. That's what, people, that's what people couldn't believe. People said, how can he be always smiling? He was, was always smiling, you know what I mean? He's very optimistic, isn't he, right to the end? He was. He was. And uh, with pain and, and all that sort of stuff, he'd just say, look, there's someone worse off than me. And he had an amazing relationship with you. You weren't only his father, you were one of his best friends, I would say. Oh, yeah, we were like, we were like best mates. We really were. Um, you know, it's, I'll never forget uh, with the whole YouTube thing. It's, you know, that's, that just went crazy, you know, and the world sort of reached out to Sean, you know, through he, that YouTube video. I believe he got three million hits on that YouTube clip. Yes, he did, yeah. He got a... He did the YouTube. He did, was, did the video just for Facebook, but for some reason it didn't upload. So he put it on YouTube, and he had a hundred thousand the next day, and then one and then one point five in seven days. Tell me about the book, because he wrote the autobiography called "An Awesome Ride." Yes. When did he write yes. that? He started writing that in January last year. And what's the book about? Um, it's about uh, the trials and tribulations of not just. Hospital. It's about all the all the stuff he's went through. Um, you know, um, you know, all the stuff with courts and stuff like that. Because um, he came to live with me, and you know, and it details it in great detail. Also speaks about how um, he helped Garfood uh, beat Mundine. Um, there's, <laughs> there's there's lots in there that it's, people will love, and it it's, sounds an, like it's a very it's not a sad book. It's it's a very very positive book. Sounds like you're very proud of the book as well. I am. I look at, as I said, when he came to me just for his birthday last year and said, I need to start writing this book, um, I said, all right, let's, let's go. 
and he just he just started and and just went from there and he's inspired a lot of people throughout the world um that looking at making a movie on based on his life i was going to ask you about that him. how is the movie going because i did read in january there is a movie the americans are making a movie about his life yeah yeah I, i'm sort of in talks and negotiations for that um i think it'll be great because there's a lot of i read i read on um youtube the other day some girl was was going to commit suicide and it's because of Sean's YouTube video that she decided not to. So I'm hoping the video will, you know, inspire lots of lots of kids to live their dream because um, I always encourage Sean to, to live his dreams and do what he wanted to do because as a parent, you never know, you know, how long you'll have your child for, so you should always encourage your child whatever they want to do in life. Cameron, the book's available at Dimmick bookstores all around Australia? It's, on, it's in Dimmick's, Collins or online. Thank you very well, much. So. 12 months out, it's nearly 12 months. I think it's uh, May 27th, is that right? May 26th, actually. 26, May 26. is it? I, it's, it's a bit, next week, next, next month's a bit bittersweet because I've got my birthday May 14 and, and, then it's May, and then it's Sean's anniversary. Are you doing something special to remember the day? We, Yes, we will be definitely as a family. We'll be doing something, um, and you know, just to remember Sean. And um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping by then, you know, basically we've got all the movie talk sort of stuff out the way. And um, but yeah, as I said, Sean was just amazing. He was just, you know, anyone who goes on his YouTube video, I did a YouTube channel for him as well, Sean Miller 2395. Yep. Anyone that goes on that, we'll see what Sean's all about. A great inspiration to other kids. Just quickly before we wrap up, do you want to just urge other parents that may have children with these problems what, to do something special? Yeah, I look at, you know, one thing about Sean with, with, with kids, with, the thing with heart kids um, and heart, like people don't realise, one in six kids are born with heart conditions. One in six, that's a lot, this, you know, in this day and age. So. I'm hoping, you know, people do get on board and if you ever see a hard kids team can around, just think of Sean and donate. Well done. Um, and, always, and always encourage your kids for whatever they want to do in life. And I'm sure Sean's going to live in your heart for a very long time, Cameron. He will, mate. He will.